Other. So it's been a while since I've made a video. I step up, do some more poetry, and uh, I just reviewed the poem, and I'm uh, reflecting upon how it's curious how much it represents or is representative of like an internal process of my own, like coming to terms with my own self-love. So here it goes. I have desired and found the company of a holy woman and a poet, only to realize that I have demanded the one thing from them that they would never relinquish to any man, woman, or child, to no relationship, namely non-attachment, a non-directed love. Only a non-directed love is free to embrace all things. Only a love which embraces all things is capable of even the simplest forms of poetry or spirituality. Poetry and spirituality is an attempt to convey the truth, not my truth. Thus, when one writes in prose or spiritual matters, one uses the phraseology or the phrase one pursuit as opposed to my pursuit, her pursuit, their pursuit. I have unwisely bound myself in relations to poets and mystics, thus preventing my own poetic and mystical nature from reaching the light of day. My desire and my attachment to being loved as quote unquote I am. And my desire to reciprocate this love to the other and for the other as quote unquote they are has sabotaged loving the universe, loving the rose, the river, as it is. My love has been aimed, not expansive. I have attempted to bring the aim of another's love upon me instead of freeing the other to love all things, to love expansively. I have begged a spiritualist and a poet to love me specifically, to set aside their love for me, tantamount to asking them to relinquish their living purpose to love and express the universal truth. I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye for now.